Help! Help! Okay, okay, I'll tell him the secret to how to make pulleys. Just don't drop me. I'm going to make an acrylic pulley like similar to this one which I made years ago. Uh, what I did with this one is quarter inch thick acrylic. I've got a groove made in it here um, and I epoxied a bearing to one face of it. There's your epoxy. And once you epoxy harden for extra strength I put some nuts and bolts through it right there. And that ended up with a nice pulley. But this time I want something a little different. First of all I want a smaller pulley. And for this pulley I'm going to use this um, for the uh, shaft. Okay, the holes are done. I cleared off the blue plastic. I made the middle hole a little bit bigger for the shaft. Um, for the nuts and bolts for attaching it, I've got these things from Radio Shack. And these are just small little nuts and bolts which you can find there. I've used them for many, many projects over the years. Okay, there are many ways of doing this. This is just the way I came up with right now today. <laughs> I clamped a piece of wood to the table, I clamped the shaft here, this brass shaft to the table, and then I have this on the shaft. I have made my mark, you can see I've done a test piece here, but I have made my mark in the, um, in the acrylic, and I've arranged it so my marker is right where that mark is. So I'll just move in on that and you can see it better. So to cut it I'm going to use this right here, which is a scroll saw, which I bought at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Canadian Tire, who knows where. That's very, they're very cheap and the nice thing is they're also very light, very small. And I just store mine in the closet when I'm not using it and bring it out whenever I need it. So you can have your own little workshop at home that way. Like I do. And that way you can build anything. Goggles, of course. Notice it's not perfectly cut right to the edge. Some places I didn't quite go to the mark. So for that I'll just use this file right here. So the next trick is to make the groove. And to do that I use another file. Um, ideally what I'd do is I'd take this file right here, which is a round one, and just go along like this, all the way around. That's in fact how I made this one right here, and it worked out great. But this was thicker um, plastic than this plastic right here. Um, so I can't use this round one. If I found a smaller round one, that'd be great. So I'm using this one right here, which is round in one profile and then flat on the other side. And that way I can get in right there and... file away and then reverse direction, or reverse side and keep doing that. And I've got a nice groove forming right there. And there you can see the finished result. What you want is a groove that matches the shape of the belt. Uh, so if it's a round belt, you want a round groove. If it's a uh, wedge-shaped belt, you want a wedge-shaped groove. So here's the finished result. I'm just turning it using this heat shrink tubing. Could even use the lower pulley if I wanted to. Or I could use both. Turns out I didn't need this after all though. By the time I finished it, um, I was making it for this shade finder thing. And uh, I found another way of doing it without using any pulleys at all. Um, but I did have to make this sort of this piece right here, which is kind of like a pulley. It even has a groove made using the very same technique with a round file, except with wood. Which also points out that I could have made this pulley entirely out of wood instead of plastic. What? Tell them the secret to making cardboard pulleys too? Okay, okay, just don't drop me. This is probably the simplest pulley to make. Simply take a piece of corrugated cardboard, like from a box, make sure it's thick. Uh, cut it into a disc like this with a hole in the middle. Then take another, two other pieces of cardboard, this time thin cardboard, and cut them so that they have two tabs that sticking out, like this. Then you simply glue them together. Now we take our shaft. push it through and then those pieces that we made, those little tabs that were sticking out are going to be what we tape the pulley to the shaft with. There you go, now you have a pulley. And for a belt 
Um, well, what about some shoelace? <laughs> Oh. Of course there are other secret things that can be used with pulleys. Okay, okay, I'll tell them. There's a few other sources for pulleys. This is a window and door thing. I guess it's for sliding screen doors. That's a very nice pulley on that. And you even have a mounting system right here too. Fishing line. <laughs> this came off a roll of fishing line. So if you have a very flat belt, then you can use one of these. Wheels, the hub for wheels. Just take the wheel off and inside there is a pulley. Just want to show you a little trick here. Um, if you have a shaft that's not large enough for your pulley and it, it slips too much, um, then what you can do is just take some tape. I use, use electrical tape and just wrap it around the shaft right there. And um, now you have a much firmer hold. <clears throat> I guess you could say it's a shaft enlarger. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, RimStar.org, for more videos on how to make things. There's even a video on how to make belts for pulleys. And there's a video about the Shade Finder that has a wooden pulley I showed briefly. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like these videos. And I'm always looking for ideas for videos, so leave a comment below. Bye for now.